About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base. You've seen everything we've got on the outbreak. What's your opinion? Textbook symptoms. A vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So our Kikongo-speaking staff are at risk? Quite so. Hmm. He's right. All the victims do speak Kikongo. So they can survive if they just use another language? There is no guarantee you're only dealing with a Kikongo strain. Other language strains may be present. You well know he was teaching them languages from all over the world. The Devil's House. In Zoya Badia, Bolu. There is no way to know how many strains he has at his disposal. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? You mentioned using microbes. Use this. A type of Wolbachia, introduced to a sample of the parasite. Wolbachia? A parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. What have you done with the infected bodies? Cremated to stop the spread of infection, but we did keep a few for study. Good. Take this sample, grind it to a pulp, and introduce it to the larvae now nesting in the dead. The Volbachia will multiply rapidly within those larvae. They're soldiers, not some petri dish. Conventional cultivation methods will take too long. Extract the Volbachia from those larvae and vaccinate your men. Kikongo speakers first. This is the fastest, surest way. No one is to speak a word of Kikongo until the Bobakia are safely inside them. I will instruct your medical staff in detail on site. You have the appropriate facilities. Yes, but do not worry. I made a pact with your Bette Holone on the honor of the Dine. I speak no lies. Keep an eye on him. Will do. Follow me. I'll take you to the medical team. Now, we must wait for the Volbachia to multiply in the larvae. How is the disease transmitted? If it's carried by insects or rodents, then... There is no intermediate host. So... The vocal cord parasites lay their eggs in the larynx of the host. Most hatch and migrate to the lungs but some are transported to the mouth through ciliary movement, mixing in with saliva. Saliva. Droplet transmission. Sneezing, coughing. Any food or water containing infected saliva. It would spread fast. Indeed. And when the larvae migrate to the lungs, symptoms can resemble the early stages of a cold making it easy to infect others. Meaning a simple conversation would be enough to pass it on. All right, so what happens after the larvae migrate to the lungs? It is as I said before. They mature by feeding on alveolar tissue. It is only then that noticeable symptoms appear in the host. And by that point, it's too late. He's infected everyone else. It's one hell of a weapon you've created. That is what Blag Anna wanted. Something that would spread easily. <sighs> In truth, he's not the reason. But we will discuss that another time. The Walbachia have multiplied. We're preparing to extract them and begin vaccinating. But is this really the only way? Sure, it'll prevent infection, but the cost... You would rather remove their vocal cords? No. Tactical communication's a linchpin of what we do. What if we were to ban the use of Kakongo? Insufficient. First, there's no guarantee 
that only the Kikango strain is here. Second, there is the matter of how the parasites lay their eggs. Before they can copulate, they must be exposed to the pronunciation of a specific language for a period of time. Like a container filling with water. But the duration between when the container is full and when the copulation actually begins varies from case to case. In other words, even if the infected stops speaking as a countermeasure, it may already be too late. The only true solution is to prevent copulation through the Obakia, or by physically removing the affected tissue. <sighs> Do any anti-parasitics work? It sounds as though you have already tried. Yeah. We tried every one there is, and nothing. I have yet to find a medicine that can remove the parasites. At best, it temporarily covers their ears. Why is that? Because the parasites are... companions to us. To remove them inevitably harms the host. Companions? More than you think. And this is why the human immune system cannot eliminate them. <laughs> 